600, mas malayo pa po sa mainland China. And yet China insists on claiming it as part of their so-called Nine Dash Line. Hindi dapat natin ito palampasin. Ang sa Pilipinas ay sa Pilipinas. The Chinese harassment towards Filipinos in the West Philippine Sea should stop now. China is planning to tow away the BRP Sierra Madre yes, to away from the Ayungin Shoal. Oh. Ano to? I can imagine parang tayong mga ipis na inapakapaka na ng mga tao na ito kapag yan ay gagawin pa nila. Our neighbors bullying Mr. President then no denying about it. There's no word for it. It's absolutely reprehensible and completely illogical. Let us take the read back. For instance, this was a, uh, the news two weeks ago in every headlines. There was a swarming of boats and ships at the read bank and recto bank. This, my dear colleagues, is 80 nautical miles from Palawan. And I will use a laser pointer. This is not the green laser pointer of the Chinese military Navy on us. This is just a red pointer to point out where Reed Bank is. No 18 nautical miles from northern Palawan. On a clear day with a telescope, maybe with a binocular, looking out of San Vicente, Palawan, or even maybe the beautiful beaches of El Nido, you might be able to see the ships already coming close to our country, my dear colleagues. It is 80 nautical miles from the coast of Palawan. And why I say it is incomprehensible and completely illogical, the closest mainland China, the mainland area of China, is 595 nautical miles away. So please, Lord above, tell me, who can explain to me that this territory is their territory? When it is that far, it is five times farther than our coastline. It is 595 miles from the coast of Haiyan, Hainan province. Even farther when you look at the mainland of China, just up here. By all metrics of reason, Reed Bank is ours. It is Philippine territory. Or we can look at Mischief Reef or any land formations in the Spratlys where China has been putting up reclamation activities. Mischief Reef, my dear colleagues, Mr. President, is just 129 miles away from Palawan. And it is almost 600 nautical miles away from Hainan. 600, mas malayo pa po sa mainland China. And yet China insists on claiming it as part of their so-called Nine Dash Line. Mr. President, my dear colleagues, I rise to support the adoption of the proposed Senate Resolution Number 659 to urge our Department of Foreign Affairs to sponsor a resolution before the United Nations General Assembly to call on China to stop the harassment of Filipinos in the West Philippine Sea and to uphold the integrity of our territory. Hindi katanggap-tanggap ng ating mga kababayan, lalo na ang ating mga mangisda ay ginagamitan ng karasan ng dayuhang China na makapaghanap buhay na mapayapa sa West Philippine Sea. Mas nakagagalit din na pati mismo ang ating military personnel ay nakakaranas ng mga unlawful aggression sa kamay ng mga dayuhan. Hindi dapat natin ito palampasin. Ang sa Pilipinas ay sa Pilipinas. The Chinese harassment towards Filipinos in the West Philippine Sea should stop now. It is high time that the Philippine government exert all efforts to ensure that China will recognize the 2016 Permanent Court of Arbitration ruling and other international laws such as the UNCLOS. The United Nations was built to hold member states for agreements they freely entered into. 
we come before other countries in good faith. It is but right that we expect the same from them. Thank you, Mr. President. Lahat naman tayo dito ay nagkakaisa, no? Na tayo galit na galit sa pambubuli ng China sa ating uh, mga fisherman at sa ating mga uh, kasundaluhan, mga Navy natin, Coast Guard, yung gilang ginagawa. Lahat tayo galit. Uh, pero, I'll just give you a scenario, Mr. President. You can just imagine the level of uh, frustration, the level of outrage that we will... Uh, that will uh, that we will experience kung magkatotoo yung nabasa ko sa news na sinabi nila that China is planning to tow away the BRP Sierra Madre yes, away from the Ayungin Shoal oh. if that will happen Mr. President sobra na talaga para na tayong mga para na tayong uh, mga ano to i can imagine para na tayong mga Ipis na inapakapakan na ng mga tao na ito kapag yan ay gagawin pa nila. Awang-awa na nga tayo sa mga marines natin na walang natitirahan doon, walang, walang uh, shelter, kundi yung, yung uh, nakadits lang doon, na grounded na BRP si Ramadre na puno ng kalawang. Kung makita mo yung mga marines natin doon, maiiyak ka sa sitwasyon nila. At may plano pa ang China na hihilain daw yun tatanggalin, paalisin doon. So, sobra na yan, uh, Mr. President. Iniisip ko talaga, I, 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 as a Filipino, hindi ko ma-imagine kung gawin pa nila yan. Wala na nga ibang matirahan yung sundalo natin doon, mga marino natin. Hihilain pa nila pa, palayo. At anong gagawin nila doon? Pakilo nila? Pakilo nila yung barko natin? Eh... Ang balita po, Sen. De La Rosa, uh, is... Inano na, they surrounded, sinaround na po nila yung Ayungin Shows. They're surrounded, they're surrounded now. Pag makita mo sa ating, as a of fact, nagbigay po tayo ng uh, aeroplano sa BIFAR, na caravan, Cessna caravan, at nagpipicture taking na po sila doon sa area na yun. The Ayungin Shows is now surrounded by militia ships. Okay. Ang sabi daw nila, isang bagyo na lang yan. Pag may tumabang bagyo, sila daw magre-rescue sa ating mga marines kasi wala makalapit eh. At pag-rescue daw nila ng Marines, kanila na yon. Yan ang, ang balitang plano. So ang akin dyan, kung mangyayari talaga yan, sa tingin ko, ano, I don't know. I don't know. Enough is enough. Tama na. Sobra na. Ilang pang mangang isda po, ang, uh, ilang mangang isda pa po ang, ba ang matatakot at magdadalawang isip na maglayag sa sarili nating karagatan para makapaghanap buhay. Ilang magigiting na kawal ng Philippine Coast Guard pa ang hihintay natin mabulag o magkaroon ng kapansanan habang nagpapatrolya sa ating teritoryo dahil sa pambubuli ng China. Ilang sundalo pa natin ang malalagay sa alangan ng sitwasyon dahil sa si ginagawang paghaharang at paghahamon ng mga Chinese vessels sa, anumang, sa ating mga barko at sa sakyang pandagat. Malinaw na malinaw. Mula sa mga binitawang salita ng kanilang mga matataas na opisyal at sa ginagawang pagkilos ng Chinese militia, hindi, kina, hindi kinikilala at nirerespeto ng China ang naging desisyon sa The Hague. The Philippines won against China. Maliwanag na maliwanag. It is a message that should be repeated over and over again at every opportunity including at the August Chamber of the United Nations General Assembly. We are a David to China's Goliath. We must seek the support of the international community to rally behind our cause for a rules-based international order, one that is not dictated by swords or guns, but is won through respect for laws and sovereignty. It is in our best interest to follow through on the earlier pronouncement of former President Rodrigo Duterte when he invoked the arbitration ruling in his first ever address to the UN General Assembly in 2020, wherein he asserted that it is now part of international law beyond compromise and beyond the reach of passing governments to dilute, diminish, or abandon, and that we firmly reject attempts to undermine it. And he also emphasized what the victory stands for, the triumph of reason over rashness, of law 
over disorder, of amity over ambition. Sundan po natin ang naunong positibong hakbang ng nakarang administra administrasyon na ipaalala sa iba't ibang bansa at igit ang kahalaga ng arbitral ruling sa pagtiyak ng kapayapaan at seguridad sa rehiyon. In solidarity with Senator Rotiveros, I cross political party lines and stand for our national interest. I join her in fervently calling on the community of nations to stop the harassment and bullying in the West Philippine Sea.